Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all-new 2013 Toyota Aris. And today's review is taking place at Kelly's Toyota, situated in Letterkenny, County Donegal. For all contact information regards to dealership, please see the description box below. So in today's review, we'll be looking at the interior of the car. I'll explain all the features work. We'll also start up, look at the engine, go over the performance data and take a look around the exterior. So, let's get started. Four electric windows, lower storage, as well as manual adjusting front seats. Electric mirror controls located off to the right. So there's a few full cap release on the floor. So there's this power on the car. It has 24,755 kilometers on the clock so far. Apply the clutch and turn the key to power on the vehicle. Fires right up. It has a leather wrap multifunction steering wheel with electronic power assisted steering good thick wheel itself and it has sporty thumb grips off to the sides off to the left you got your radio controls and off to the right the bluetooth hands free phone controls as well as voice command and the display button which just goes through the check computer off to the left down here you have traction control press it once to turn off the traction. If you hold it in, it will turn off stability control, which is indicated by the second light. It also has a manual rake and reach steering rack, completely adjustable. The RS also has very nice brushed aluminium accenting, as you can see on the door handles and across the dash. It also has a six-speed manual transmission with close gear ratios, very smooth shifting. Up, over, and up for reverse. And rear backup camera and guidance signs come on. It also has a soft touch e-brake. As well as two integrated cup holders in the center. As well as this button here, which is your economy mode. It's the start-stop system. When the car stops, you put it in neutral, let out the clutch. Uh, the engine cuts out and then to start the engine again just apply the clutch it's just a fuel saving measure also has a center mounted armrest which has two storage areas one on the top and a deeper one in the bottom also comes with a touch screen radio estate investment over the next three years is set to reach five oh we should give her a phone call wouldn't we has very good sound quality. It's a very easy radio to use. Go into things like setup, you can go to your display, general settings, as well Bluetooth settings, telephone, audio, and vehicle settings. And if I just click media, click it again, you can select between uh, FM and AM radio. You can see here, and you can also click the auxiliary import, Bluetooth. If you have your phone, let's say Bluetooth to the radio, you can listen to the music off it. Or the USB port. Very simple. Uh, this car doesn't have satellite navigation integrated into its system. I press car, just goes through the trip information, given things like your average speed, elapsed time, as well as cruising range, and then you can click your past record. You can choose to clear it or update it. And then uh, when you connect your phone to the Bluetooth system, press this button here. Obviously there's no phone connected here, but when it is connected, you can just dial your number there or you can go to your contacts, which will be highlighted up there when your phone is connected. And that's really the basis of the radio. Simple to use, nothing complicated about it. Also down here, it has climate control and air conditioning with a digital readout. So as your fan speed's located here. Also got automatic mode, as well as front and rear defrost. 
recycling, all the usual things. Down here you got a 12 volt power plant, as well as your auxiliary on port and USB, as well as a small storage area. The RS has very comfortable seats, very supportive, decent amounts of side bolstering as well. That's quite a nice interior. It's very comfortable, spacious, lots of room, everything's very well laid out. It's quite a nice car. So let's take a look at the back seats. Legroom is fairly decent, as is the headroom. Rear visibility probably is not the best in this particular car because as you can see the uh, rear window is quite small. That's not too bad really. I suppose then again you do have the reversing camera. Also has two integrated cup holders. So it's lower storage. Also has a 12 volt power net. Look at it just down here. So let's just turn on the vehicle's power. As well as the headlights, front and rear fog lights, and the hazards. The driver's side window is the only one that's fully automatic. And we'll take a look around the exterior. The exterior color is called Barcelona Red. This one has halogen projector headlamps, as well as LED daylights. Chrome accented grille, as well as chrome housing for the fog lamps. The new RS is a very good looking car. I really like this styling of the front in particular. It looks sporty and aggressive. Also, just a little uh, bit of information I found out. This car has also been sold in Australia and New Zealand, as far as I know, as a Toyota Corolla. I'm not sure if it's been sold as a Corolla in any other country, but as far as I know, for the European market, it's just called the Aris. It also has these 16 inch alloy wheels as standard. Up front, it has 258mm ventilated disc brakes, and there are also 258mm discs in the rear. Up front, it also has an independent McPherson strut suspension, and it has a semi independent suspension in the rear. And also just here where the boot release is, you can see the uh, rear backup camera, just located there on the left. Boot space is fairly decent, it has 12.7 cubic feet of room. Also underneath the false floor, you have a space saver all I wheel. Rear seats also fold in a split 60-40. The rear seats go down completely flat, so you're able to slide large objects towards the rear of the vehicle a lot easier. The overall length for the new RS is 168.31 inches. It has a width of 62.29 inches. Its height is 57.48 inches and it has a total wheelbase of 102.36 inches. Also has LED indicators integrated into the wing mirrors. The bonnet release is located off to the, in the driver's side footwell. The engine is a 1.4 litre D4D turbo diesel. 
produces 88 brake horsepower with a top speed of 112 miles per hour. The 0 to 60 in 12.1 seconds and can produce 151 foot pounds of torque. Its estimated miles per gallon is 72. So let's put it on the hours and see how it sounds. It's about 3500 RPM. So we'll just finish up the review now. The new Irish is a very nice car. The only criticism I do have about it, and it's actually quite a common criticism, is the rear visibility through the rear window. If you don't have the reversing camera, then you might have a little problem. It's not the worst, but the rear window is probably just a bit too narrow and the headrests do obstruct the view just a little bit. But apart from that, it's an excellent car. There's a good variety of engines available. There's also uh, an estate version called the, I think it's called the Sports Tour out as well. Uh, this one is also the Luna which I believe is one of the more high spec models so it does come with quite a good amount of equipment in it. The satellite navigation is an optional extra. The interior is quite nice, it's spacious, the seats are very comfortable, there's a good amount of side bolt string on them. So quality wise can't really complain, it's very well built. It's a lovely car. I also really like the uh, exterior styling. I think this car pulls off that uh, Barcelona red very well. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this full and tour of the 2013 Toyota Aris. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe, and please stay tuned to be playing more videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone.